Have you ever seen one of these? This is one of the coolest James Bond style optical devices I've ever owned. Check it. Dr. 8x21 monocular made in Deutschland. That is Germany. I've had this sucker since, I don't know, like 1997 and I absolutely love my Dr. Monocular. There is a special reason I'm doing a review on it now. I'll get to it. First, where did my talking points go? Oh yeah, here they are. Seriously, that's what I'm going to go off of. Let's see, number one, why do I love the Dr. Monocular 8x21? Look how small it is. You guys know I love compact and lightweight things. This monocular is amazing. 2.8 ounces. Mm -hmm. Now, I've done a couple of other optics reviews so far in TMP. You'll see more as the years go on. Reference my binocular review on the Nikon Monarch. I talk about all the optical terms there if you're interested. I'm not going to go into those in this review. However, I have never found one with the capabilities of the Dr. 8x21 monocular as small and compact as this. Even my much beloved Zeiss Victory <laughs> compact monoculars, uh, not monoculars, binoculars, these are 10 powers. I think they have a new style out now. I've had these for a long time too. Expensive. Yeah, worth it though. Way worth it. 9.2 ounces in the carry case. Outstanding binoculars, really. Uh, I mean, they are reference standard to me. As good as some Savarskis and some other ones I've tried. But not as compact. Look at the different form factors here, guys. And sometimes SAWC, me SAWC constraints mean that I need this. A lot of times. You know what I use this most for in the years when I bought it? In my Air Force job, we would have receivers closing with our tanker. And in order to check the tail numbers, or actually even to spot them at distance, I would have this in my flight suit, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. There's no way, by the way. Let's see where I'm at talking points. I could do that if it wasn't clear. These are probably not phase corrected, but I'll tell you what. They have an awesome picture. And by the way, the way you use them is just like I did right there. That aligns the prisms. Very clear, very bright, with an amazingly close focus capability with 8x21 Dr. Monocular. Excellent field of view. Here's the specs. By the way, it's in the metric system. Check it. At 1,000 meters, 110 meter field of view. That's pretty nice. Twilight factor of 13, the specs are saying. Exit pupil, 2.6. Front lens diameter, 21 millimeters. Excellent clarity. So much so that you can actually look through this little tiny James Bond monocular without eye strain for extended periods of time, I know, because I've done it. Well, I'm saying for a monocular. If you want less strain, obviously you want both eyes open. You want very high quality optics, just like the Zeiss. And several others offer. I'm not just saying Zeiss. Maybe it's Leica. Love those too. Back then it was affordable. I actually bought this from L.L. Bean, guys. I think $110 is what I spent. Sadly, I think our U.S. friends in the Nut and Fancy Project, you're going to have a very hard time hooking into the Dr. Monocular. I clicked around on the internet a little bit and I did not see it. European guys, you might have better luck. I still think it's being sold. I could be wrong in Europe. If you can hook into it, if you need such an optical device, there. Now, there's other single-eyed optical magnifiers. You know, kind of like the Zeiss monocular, they have one that's more pencil-like. I much prefer this. It's, I don't know, it's just more comfortable to look through. Check out the cool leather carry case. That's old school, man. Made in Germany. I got to tell you, I'm a sucker for that, too. German-made optics rock. By the way, it has a belt loop if you want to use it. I always just carry it in my flight suit pocket. And then when I put it in my bag, I'd actually put it in a travel soap case. You know what I'm saying? With foam around it to protect it. This gets you the other part. Uh, it broke on me. Mm -hmm. uh, is actually dropped in a bag onto the pavement about 15 feet, and I think it detached some of the little 
glass lenses inside. And I, I got to tell you guys, I was heartbroken that I had lost my little doctor monocular. So here's what I did. I went to Dr. Optics, still think they're in Germany, contacted them via email. I heard back from them within a day. Now granted, I'm a dude out of the blue. This thing has been in my possession for well over a decade. And I said, hey, I love your optics. I love my little monocular. I can't find a replacement. Can you help me? Is there a way I could send it off for service I'm willing to pay? They got back to me and they said, you know what? If you send it to us, we will fix it free of charge. Return freight paid by us. What? Yep, let's give some love out to these people right here. No whip sound on this one. Sheetmaster 1987, help me with the German, bro. Help me with the German. Don't even know how to pronounce that. Here we go. Value for customs purpose only. I don't know. Check this out. That's all in German. Don't even know what that says. And it's hand signed by somebody. How awesome is that? I just got it back today. I'm just so stoked. Just outstanding customer service from Dr. Optics. That's probably their parent corporation right there. I don't know. Maybe their service corporation. Excellent. Obviously, an outstanding warranty. 2.8 ounces. If you need a compact optic, something that you can have with you all the time, even something compact like this, speaking from experience, hard to have with you all the time. When I was in my flying job with the U.S. Air Force, this was with me all the time. And it came in handy lots and lots. Not just in flying tasks, but during survival uh, exercise and stuff, the optic that always came with. Hey, are there bad guys over there? I don't know. Let me, let me just whip out my James Bond monocular. You should have seen the looks on guys' faces. They're like, what? What is that? And I was checking out guys like 300 yards away. They're like, yeah, there's some bad guys over there. Let's go this way. Saving the day. There you have it. That is a short, nut and fancy review on one of the coolest, subcompact, highest quality. I kind of blame myself for it breaking, by the way. Monocular I've ever used in my life. The Dr. 8x21 monocular. I hope they bring it back to the U.S. If not, it is a crying shame. See ya.